Good morning, Bula Vinakka, and warm greetings to everyone. My name is Shireen Nisha, and I am a lecturer in IT with the Department of Computer Science and Mathematics. I will be your host for today's virtual information session for the School of Science and Technology. Friends, I am from the Bedding West, from the district of Ba, which is most commonly known as the Soka Crazy Town of Fiji. And I have completed my secondary education at Kamil Muslim College. It would be really nice to know where you are watching this from. So do put it in the comment or the chat section of the uh, platform that you are watching this from. And also please mention which school you have attended or are attending currently. Without further delay, it's my pleasure to welcome Professor ABM Shokat Ali, former Dean of SOST, and Professor in IT with the Computer Science and Mathematics Department to officially welcome you all to this session. Professor Ali. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Shane. Yeah. Bola, everyone. Yeah, my pleasure to meet you. I would like to say, think about what is science? Science means the logic in the reality, fact. This is called science. Without proof, we cannot say this is science. Then, what is technology? The logic of science when we produce as a product that is called technology. So we from the School of Science and Technology here to welcome you. Please stay with us. Have a look. How does science and technology works? If you go see the diabetics, it's a disease. It is common in Fiji. So diabetes means when sugar level above eight or seven, that means we treat a person as diabetic. So it has been proved by scientific test. Then what is the technology? Technology, you can see without visit your doctor, you can use a device, just take a little bit blood from your finger and then put in the blood into sensor. Then the machine can tell you, oh, your sugar level is 7.5. Please don't eat sugar more. This is diabetes. Recent one, COVID, have a look. How much scientific community involved with COVID? The vaccine made basically originally first time for, from Germany. The guy is science background. The COVID test tracing everything going around us. All the product came from scientific research, from science. In our school, we teach basic science, mathematics. What is it? Mother of science. Physics, father of science. We teach both. When mother and father are there, definitely children are intelligent. Smartly, we teach other courses in our school. For instance, AI, artificial intelligence, renewable energy, very important for specific nation, not only specific nation, entire world. We also teach data science. Job market is number one in this moment. We are aiming from 2022 to offer agricultural engineering and other engineering area in the West. That might help to add the title engineer before your name. We have very experienced academic. Our academics did PhD from Australia, other part of the world. We have a combination young, energetic, and experienced academics. We have adjunct professor over the world. Our team is growing our academic team growing. 
Our academic team, not only expert in teaching, they're very good in research. If you search in the Google, then you would see our paper, research paper. Our academics are getting research funding from US aid, American organization, European Union, China aid, Australia. Even you can see in the YouTube and Google, we are running many events, but, you know, with the support of international funding. So if you come and stay with us, you will be part of this kind of discovery and funding. This is a great opportunity. If you come and stay with us a few years, we will make you. We will make you. After that, you can work with us as a university teacher. Many of our colleagues, they are own graduate. If you visit our website, SOS website, then you will see our Ex graduate, they are holding gold medal. Majority of the gold medalists wouldn't allow them to go outside. We ask them stay with us, teach, and build your nation. I mean you. So our graduate are proudly working top industry. If you come to Fiji Airways, Fiji Sugar Corporation, some other organization, Vodafone, and other uh, uh, organization. If you come, you can check how does our, you know, graduate perform. Not only that, if you come to Microsoft Australia, Google Australia, then Shell Company Australia and other company, if you come, you'd see our graduate. Everything we are trying to step by step bring in our school website. So stay with us. Again, I would like to welcome you. Please come and join, reach your knowledge, most powerful ingredient in the world. If you have this thing, you can sell yourself anywhere. So please stay with us, learn and claim you are the product of the School of Science and Technology from the University of Fiji, Binaka. Over to you, MC. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ali, for those warm words of welcome. Uh, we can see we have got some comments coming up from our Facebook platform uh, and also from our YouTube platform. We have Avitesh, we have got Manishika, we have got Shristi. Thank you for joining us. Dear friends, please stay tuned with us until the end of the session to win some lucrative prizes through our quiz competition. With that, now I invite Dr. Ramendra Prasad, HOD of Science Department to give an overview of all the science programs. Dr. Prasad. Thank you, Anisha. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can see your slides also. Excellent, excellent. Uh, good morning, everyone. So myself is uh, Dr. Ramendra Prasad. I am currently the head of the science department. And uh, today I was going to provide you the overview of science programs that we offer here at the University of Fiji School of Science and Technology. Department of Science. So if you look at the bottom, I have got two beautiful pictures. This is bird's eye view of our campus. So when you campus, you can look at the weather and you can look, and look at the sea. So whenever you join our campus, this is the environment where you are going to study science. And looking at so the study programs that we offer, we offer programs from foundation level, so you can do foundation viewer sciences, which is equivalent to year 13, or you can do foundation IT. And then we have bachelor's degree, BSc, we call it in short, postgraduate diploma. Once you have got your bachelor's degree, you can always climb up the ladder, do master of science and doctor of philosophy or PhD, and then your title will change to doctor. And on the right, I have pictures of three persons who are gold medalists, as Professor has mentioned. So on the far right, the one with the specs is Mr. Lionel Joseph, very, uh, what do you call, shy guy. Uh, he was our student, got triple gold medalist, and now currently doing PhD from Australia. So if you want to progress like him in your career, please join us and we will chart a good pathway for you to excel and reach your goal. Moving on to the programs or the majors that we offer. We offer majors in biology, in chemistry, in physics. These are the natural science majors as well as environmental sciences. So you can put them in different combinations and I will show you the different combinations that we have 
which is here in our programs of study. So as I mentioned, you can do foundation science. And then after that, for year 13, you can enroll into our undergraduate programs. The first one listed there is Bachelor of Environmental Sciences. So Bachelor of Environmental Sciences is in government's uh, priority area. And it is very, very important that we need to have more of environmental scientists and there will be more career opportunities coming for that as well. So this, in, in this program, you can do courses such as environmental impact assessment. So we will teach you how to do environmental impact assessment there. Uh, resource management, the natural resource management, which have courses on public health and environment, very, very important. Uh, atmospheric sciences and climate change, which is again a very, thick, very big thing uh, right now. The other program majors, we call it Bachelor of Sciences, BSc. Uh, we have biology and chemistry. You can do a combination of biology and chemistry. You can do a combination of biology and information technology. Uh, another combination is chemistry with physics and physics with mathematics. Physics in mathematics is again a government's priority area. We usually have a lot, I mean, shortage of graduates in that area. And physics and IT, another popular one that we have right now. And you can really, really progress after doing physics and IT uh, major. After doing your undergrad, or if you have done your undergrad and you want to do a postgraduate, we have postgraduate diploma in energy and environment and master of science in renewable energy management. So the postgraduate diploma in energy and environment, this is one year program. We can just finish it in one year. And the master of science usually is a two year program whereby you have to do six courses and a minor thesis. And we haven't stopped there. We have also got the postgraduate research degree programs, whereby you have to do a full thesis. And these programs are called Master of Science in Physics or MSc in Environmental Science, PhD in Physics, and PhD in Environmental Sciences. So these are research-based programs whereby you will become an academic and do more research and very good for knowledge creation, which we always talk about. So when you join us here at the university, we enrich you with the experience and knowledge, very, very important through the degree that we are going to offer, whether you're going to do a BSc degree or a Bachelor of uh, Environmental Sciences. But the other important thing is the soft skills. And the question is, do you know how you can demonstrate these qualities? The qualities that I have listed there, like previous experience, ability to take responsibility, demonstrate leadership, good team player, proactive worker and how can you make your cv look better not just to look better but that cv is the one that has got all these skills and the cv demonstrate this it will going to build your character and also uh, enable you to become a successful graduate not just having a paper based qualification but also the right set of experience the right set of character for you to become successful that's what we are going to do when you join us here at Department of Science. So all in all, in conclusion, see you in 2022 at our Department of Science. We will inspire you to achieve your ambitions, give you the right mentoring support, build connections to create opportunities. All in all, science shapes the future. So join us to be part of shaping the future. Thank you. And please, uh, get your questions through in the chat forum. We really like interactive audience and we will answer the, your questions. If you have any questions regarding our programs or majors or anything that you want to ask, you can ask in the chat forum. Thank you very much. Over to you, Nisha. Thank you, Dr. Ramendra, for the overview. Uh, I now invite Ms. Priyatama Singh to share with us some of the uh, science graduate pathways. Ms. Priyatama. Thank you, Nisha. And are you able to see my presentation? Yes, I'm able to see. Okay, great. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to School of Science and Technology. So today, it's a pleasure to be here with all of you. I will be speaking to you about science graduate pathways and where will science take you. So it's very uh, important that you understand what we are doing at the Department of Science at the University of Fiji. And our HD, Dr. Ramendra Prasad, has uh, enlightened you on some of the programs that we are offering. And so we offer programs from foundation level right up to the PhD programs. So you can build your career at Department of Science 
and with School of Science and Technology. Now, some of you might be wondering, how did we tackle the COVID crisis situation? Did we stop teaching? No. In fact, as soon as we went into lockdown, we instantly moved to online teaching and learning. We adopted a new platform immediately. It's called Top Pet platform. And then, you know, if not just the lecturers, but the students sort of, you know, adapted to this online platform. And they quickly started, you know, um, doing online teaching and learning. So, and not just for the lectures and the tutorials, but even for our laboratory classes. We did not let COVID crisis stop us. We adopted another platform, which is called Beyond Labs platform. And so we quickly moved on to the Beyond Labs platform and started conducting uh, labs online. And it was, in fact, very enriching to top it and the Beyond Labs both, because we provided the opportunity for our students to grasp all the key concepts and understand the laboratory components through this online forum. And now our students are so used to this online teaching and learning that they, you know, they have mentioned to us that they can continue this even next year. But, you know, even if we go back to face to face, I'm sure we will go for a blended mode of learning now where we will keep online teaching and learning as part of our uh, programs from now onwards. But if you join us at the Department of Science, we have a very conducive learning environment for you. We have very nicely brought you where you can conduct your labs. We have um, facilities for you to do your discussion, for you to interact with your lecturers on a regular basis. So either online or face-to-face, -face, we will provide you with all the necessary skills that you need to excel in a science world. At the Department of Science, we ensure that our programs and our courses are in line with Fiji's 20-year development plan. So we very closely follow our government's priorities and plans. You know, um, the government is talking about in the 20-year development plan. By the way, this is the first time we have a 20-year development plan, and it sort of you know sets the strategies for us to. Um, um, make sure that our courses and programs are in line with what the government wants our youngsters to do in the future, the new future. So we're, tr we're trying to transform PG towards a more progressive, vibrant, and a lively society. And you know, development in PG will keep a tab on climate and environment, and mostly in the areas of climate resilient agriculture. You have heard our um, uh, professor early talk about um, agricultural engineering program that we might start offering next year. And that is directly in line with what the government is looking for. We're trying to work towards climate resilient agriculture now. We are working towards a decarbonized Fiji. And we have invested a lot in renewable energy as well. At the University of Fiji, I am very proud to say that we have a very unique program, a Master's of Science in Renewable Energy Management. And renewable energy is something which is extensively promoted by the government as well. You know, tourism is slowly, gradually coming back to its usual mode now. And as government has mentioned in its uh, development plan, we are going to work towards green tourism now. And that will require science and environmental science as well. And protection of natural uh, biodiversity. And this is where I also want to highlight that a lot of work in this coming decade is going to focus on ocean. This is UN ocean science decade from now till 2030. So there's going to be a lot of focus on ocean science and technology as well. And that might be one of the area that you might want to uh, work towards for your career. So for PG government's priority areas for 2022, and I strongly encourage all of you to keep a tab on this because government has highlighted environmental science as one of the high priority areas. It's also highlighted fisheries and forests, geographical information system, marine sciences, like I said, this is UN decade of ocean science and sustainability and there's going to be a lot of opportunities for marine science um, in the coming decade. 
sustainable energy and climate change. You all of you probably know that Prime Minister is leading, as we speak, our Prime Minister is leading a delegation of uh, uh, Fijian policymakers at COP26, which is happening in Scotland right now. And they are lobbying for more climate financing to enhance our climate change adaptation and mitigation work here in Fiji, not just in Fiji, but for uh, the Pacific Island countries. And I'm really glad that they are there doing this because it means that we, as a small island nation, are lobbying for climate financing so that we can improve our climate resilience. And this would mean that there will be a lot of funding and project opportunities that would be coming towards our way where we will need students who have this type of background in environmental science or in natural sciences who can work in the area of climate change mitigation and adaptation work. And this also includes metrology and applied climatology. And in addition to this, uh, Bachelor of Education secondary and in particular mathematics and physics is a government priority area for 2022 as well. So please keep a tab for these government priority areas and know that we are offering this at the Department of Science here at the School of Science and Technology. Our postgraduate study and deployment opportunities. So we, we do have our students, a lot of our students in fact are employed in the biodiversity and conservation field areas. You might not be aware, but even in the tourism industry, they require environmental offices and conservation offices. There are a lot of climate change adaptation and mitigation projects already underway, and our students are employed in these uh, section as well. Students, uh, our graduate students have joined research institutes like Sugar Research Institute, Coronavia Research Institute, and many of them are also now working for the government ministries and departments. One thing that I would really like to highlight here is that a lot of our students have the opportunity to pursue further studies. So once they graduate with a degree program, because they have been you know, doing science or environmental science, and as you know, and I've just highlighted, there's so many new opportunities coming in the area of uh, uh, environmental science in particular, or marine science, okay, or climate change. And so they instantly receive the scholarship to pursue their postgraduate studies, or even master studies. And it, some of them, like our HRD highlighted earlier, is now doing a PhD program from Australia and that through, through uh, with a scholarship, with the help of scholarship. So our programs do not just you know, stop at the degree, but our programs enable you to get scholarship to pursue your further studies as well. And like uh, Professor Ali mentioned earlier, we do focus a lot on research as well. And we are using research-based teaching and learning at the Department of Science. It means the research that we do, we incorporate the outcomes of the research into our current courses and make sure that our programs highlight or include the current research that we are doing. And these are our research areas that we are focusing on, environmental science, marine science, and we are also sort of trying to bridge that gap between science and policy as well. So we are now sort of moving towards not just natural science, but we also ensure that our, our students have this knowledge um, to, to talk to policymakers as well when it comes to, you know, sharing our scientific outputs with the policymakers. Ecology and conservation, um, climate change adaptation and mitigation work, as I mentioned earlier. We are now also moving into the area of geographical information system and geospatial sciences. Renewable energy is something that we are, I can say we are now quite experienced in the, uh, handling this course and program at the university. And we have, uh, you know, really good lecturers and academics in this area now. And environment and energy analytics as well. So I just wanted to highlight some of the projects that we have been doing uh, recently. And uh, these are the, the projects that we have managed to secure through international funding and collaboration. These are just some highlights and we have a lot of projects going on, but I just wanted to mention a few of them so that you know the type of research activities and community engagement work that we are currently pursuing. Um, so, you know, currently we have this secondary school waste management campaign, which is underway. And this campaign is an engagement between the University of Fiji, Science and Science Circus Pacific Australian National University. 
and Ministry of Education Heritage and Arts here in Fiji. And this is where our secondary school students are already participating in this uh, competition that we uh, launched about two weeks ago. And you know, you might be one of them who's participating in this activity. So that would be really nice if you can, you know, for, uh, take part in this activity and we get to see you as well at the university next year. Uh, we're also currently um, doing a project which is called National Implementation of Global Goals, Coherence Between NDCs, that's Nationally Determined Contributions, and the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG. And this is something that we started um, about one year ago, and it's funded by the Swedish Research Council for Sustainable Development. So we are collaborating with a very renowned research institute in Sweden, uh, which is called Stockholm Environment Institute. So here we are trying to look at the policy coherence, or we're trying to see that our goals, the NDC goals and the SDG goals are in line. And this will help our government as well to uh, upgrade their policies and promote the uh, climate change work that we are doing in Fiji. A um, couple of years ago, we, uh, we also collaborated with uh, USAID, the Pacific American Climate Fund donors, and we conducted a project which is called Developing the Capacity to Generate Coastal and Shallow Water Base Maps for Tropical Island Nations and Territories of Pacific. So this is where we are trying to also develop the coastal and ocean resources or manage the coastal and ocean resources that we have in Fiji and we're trying to take care of our ocean. And that is why I would strongly encourage you to do our uh, environmental science or BSc programs as well, where we do cover all this research into our courses so that you have the latest and up-to-date up information regarding what's going on in Fiji. And uh, like I mentioned, we also have um, conducted a renewable energy in the Pacific Islands uh, developing capacity different skills and capacity projects called EPIC project, which is funded by the European Commission. So we have worked with a number of donors. And, you know, this includes the uh, US organization, the EU, the Swedish organization, Australian organization. We have worked with China. We have also worked with the uh, um, institutes in other Pacific Island countries as well. And when we collect the information, when we do our research, we share our research findings through conferences. And here you can see us presenting at various conferences, various workshops as well. So we are um, strongly advocating for research and education in Fiji and in the Pacific as well. So we do represent ourselves at all the workshops and forums um, in Fiji the ones that are relevant to us. And we also try to advocate to uh, the other Pacific Island countries as well through using online forums. Um, so we have built quite a good network of stakeholders, I would say, not just locally, but internationally as well. So we have good um, partners all around the world. And sometimes it was very useful to us and to our students as well, because we can put our students in contact with our stakeholders, both locally as well as internationally. So it is of an advantage to you students who come to us uh, if you, and if you participate in this research that we're doing, because we do invite our students to be part of the research that we're doing. And through our research, you get to build your own strong uh, network as well. You get to meet a lot of people. You get and they get to. Uh, you get to learn a lot from them. You need to share. Uh, you can share your contacts with them, and then you know later on you can get contacted by them if they need research volunteers for their own programs. This is how we build on the uh, research network that we have, and we often ensure that students are part of that um, program that we undertake or any program that we undertake at the Department of Science. Um, just two weeks ago, we launched um, a very current project, uh, which is uh, between the University of Fiji and the USAID, America, Pacific American Fund. It's called Development of uh, Entrepreneurial Skills Post-COVID-19 Through Rural Culture. So this is our latest um, project that we are currently engaged in. And finally, sustainable development is something that we make sure is included as part of all our courses. So our education, research, and community engagement are ways in which we promote sustainable development. 
We take pride in our students and researchers' efforts, as well as in our unique cultural research and educational environment. Thank you for listening, everyone. This is my email contact as well. You can note it down and you can send me an email if you have any questions or queries, but I hope to see some questions at the end of the session today. Thank you all and over to you, Nancy. Thank you, Ms. Priyatama, for that enlightenment. Friends, if you have any questions, please message us your questions in the chat options of the platform you are watching this session from. We have a panel discussion towards the end of the session. We, are, we will be answering all those questions and we will try to set you to the right part of success. I would now like to welcome one of our alumni for the Department of Science, Mr. Ronil Prasad, to talk about his experience at UNIPG. Mr. Ronil. Hello, everyone. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, my name is Ronil Prasad. I am currently employed as the laboratory technician with the Department of Science at the University of Fiji, and this is my sixth year of service. Now, about myself, uh, my career started after completing BSc in Biology and Chemistry at Uni Fiji. As soon as I had completed my final exams at the university, I managed to join the Sugar Research Institute of Fiji as an Akechi uh, in their issue culture lab. Uh, I was lucky enough because I, in, a, in about two weeks time, I was called by the Douglas Pharmaceuticals Company to join their laboratory team as a quality control chemist. Uh, after gaining a year of experience in a modern certified pharmaceutical lab, I then joined the science department as the laboratory technician at the University of Fiji. Uh, basically, you can see that I have been with the University of Fiji from the year uh, from 2014, from 2015 to two dates, and it is a prestige and share my student life why I chose to study with Department of Science UniPG I still vividly remember when I was at Natumbo High School we had attended the University of Fiji's open day and the staffs of the campus were very helpful in providing us with the relevant information about their study programs and courses which were offered at the university my favorite subjects back in high school were biology and chemistry. I had planned to pursue my career in these subjects, and I got myself enrolled into Bachelor of Science program, uh, pursuing into double majors in biology and chemistry. I believe dream, Dreaming B provides the images for people to achieve their career. Aspirations and become successful. I will always cherish my student days at the University of Fiji as it nourished my enthusiasm for learning, meeting new people, and growing at a personal and academic level. From my experience, the staffs are well-trained and qualified, professionals who are able to guide and provide support to their students. The staffs can be contacted anytime during working hours, and they will be always willing to assist their students. Some staff are just a phone call away or a Viber message away. As a graduate of this university, I personally feel the staffs work really hard in nurturing their students and preparing them well for the workforce. Moreover, our department has uh, recently upgraded its science uh, laboratory, giving it a professional modern finish as you had seen in the previous slide. So the department wants their students to get the most of their learning resources and the lab serves as a vital component in science. Now, when I had joined the university as a student, I did not have much experience with glasswares, instruments, etc. I was a bit afraid to handle chemicals and reagents thinking that it might uh, react or may explode. 
and I might get into trouble by my uh, lecturer or my instructors. If I happen to miss a step prior to the experiment, the good news is with time, I became familiar and confident to all these. The credit, of course, goes out to my mentors here at the science department. As science students, we all look forward to field trips to places, isn't it? I managed to get hold of one of my pictures from my university days, uh, whereby me and my classmates, we went on a field trip to Ambada Heritage Park. This trip was a really fun, really fun and exciting moment, whereby uh, we had, uh, of course, this was our final year, so we uh, share our moments, which we will cherish for life. Now, field trips enhances our non-classroom learning experiences, and at the same time, we are able to sharpen our observation skills. The department has been organizing and taking their students out on field trips to uh, Sugar Research Institute of Fiji. We have Fiji Meteorological Services. We have the Nandari Vatu Dam and Kula Echo Park to name a few places. Now the department also organizes workshops, seminars, quizzes, and competitions, whereby our students and colleagues participate and contribute their ideas effectively. The department has also adopted Beyond Labs as our virtual lab platform, so that our students are well versed in their practical sessions. A word of advice to aspiring scientists. Uh, my advice is to never lose hope and have strong faith in yourself. This way you will be able to achieve your goals and strive your success. Facing challenges is part of every human life, but how you overcome this will matter in the end. It is important to make right choices in life because time and time waits for no one. Therefore, getting advice from your parents, guardians, teachers, or you can always contact our hardworking staff at the science department who can always guide you with your study choices. At times we may rush into plans simply because we think it is a race and something we should achieve quickly. But if you are not happy with what you are doing, then you are doing it wrong. And last but not the least, always stay focused in life and keep the learning flame burning Balancing your daily out daily routine is important so that you are able to prioritize your tasks. I'm currently working and completing my postgraduate studies in chemistry. Therefore, with experience, I'm able to relate this. And with the current pandemic situation, I understand that things may be a bit stressful and challenging. Therefore, invest more time in your studies and you will surely be rewarded later. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I would be pleased to see you join the science programs. Till then, stay safe and take care of us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ronil, for the presentation. I can see we have got some comments uh, from Chakshi, um, uh, Shania, and we have got Manishika Devi watching us uh, live from Nandi, year 13 student, Nawai Secondary. We have got uh, Shahida Nisha watching us live from Ba, year 10 student from Kamal Muslim College. Uh, friends, please do uh, put your questions, if you have any questions, while you're also commenting on where you're watching this from. Our next speaker is Mr. Chone Bukinagona. He is the head of Department of uh, Computer Science and Mathematics, and I welcome him to give an overview. Mr. Chone.
So, Sonia, I believe your mic is put to silent. Could you unmute, please? Yeah, sorry for that. Um, welcome to the um, virtual information session for School of Science and Technology. Um, if uh, you are looking at uh, joining the um, university or looking for a career, exciting career, you can join the uh, Computer Science and Mathematics uh, Department or CSM under the School of Science and Technology at the uh, University of Fiji, either in Saweni or uh, Saweni is in Lotoka or in uh, Samambula campus, Fiji Islands, would be the start of your journey. And um, you can see the, uh, the location of the um, university there on the western side of Fiji of Viti Levu, whether you're from uh, Vodo Levu or from the islands, you can come and uh, uh, join us um, at the University of Fiji. And uh, you will learn to think uh, creatively and analytically from some of the world's best academic in the field. You will uh, uh, benefit from their insight and experience and experience and study support as they prepare you for your future. Our teaching team is actively involved in research and project work. Our courses are designed to be conducted both face-to-face -face and online. You will get access to a virtual learning environment, TopEd, which is available 24-7 on any device. Our programs are designed to suit the flexibility around your work, allowing you to gain the qualification you need to get ahead in your current industry or a new one without the need to take a career break. You will graduate with the skills to design algorithms, instructions for the computer, and data structures, information storage, creating software that solves real life or real world uh, problems and designing uh, multimedia solutions for any business. Build expertise through uh, specialization in either software engineering or multimedia solutions, or upskilling through the post-grade and master's program, such as IT project management and web application design. Network security. Enterprise database and knowledge uh, based systems, mobile network applications, supervised projects, advanced database, data warehousing, advanced business intelligence systems, client server computing, knowledge management, information security, research methodology, and thesis writing. Foundation study, there's a program we have uh, in foundation, and those are the requirements you need to, uh, which is equivalent to year 13. You need to just uh, pass uh, year 12, either in uh, Fiji or in New Zealand or in Australia or in the Pacific. Uh, if you um, have passed the uh, Pacific Senior Secondary Certificate, PSSC, uh, these are offered in these uh, countries, Tonga, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Kiribati, Vanuatu, and Tuvalu, and Nauru. You uh, can enroll at the uh, University of Fiji for the foundation study. And our foundation is uh, there, information technology and uh, mathematics. And uh, we have undergraduate uh, programs as well. And in the undergraduate, uh, we have the diploma in IT and we have a Bachelor of Information Technology, and we have double majors uh, in Information Technology or IT as a second major. For example, the uh, BSc or Bachelor of Science, IT and Physics, IT and Biology, IT and Chemistry, 
and we have double major in uh, uh, Bachelor of Commerce, uh, B Commerce, IT and Management, or IT and Accounting, IT and uh, Economics. We have double major in uh, uh, Bachelor of Arts, English uh, Language and Literature and IT. Uh, in a postgrad uh, program, we offer a postgrad uh, program such as a postgrad diploma in information technology or PGDIT, uh, postgrad diploma in mathematics, and a master's program. Uh, we have masters of science in information technology, masters of information technology, masters of science in mathematics, uh, doctor of philosophy in uh, information technology, or PhD in IT that cover areas of modern ICT. Uh, these are some of the programs uh, that you can uh, research on or um, study. Uh, we have um, the first one there, computer science, uh, mathematics, we have uh, data science, and uh, network security. Well, thank you for listening. You can apply through our website, which is uh, there, www.unifiji.ac.fj uh, forward slash SOST uh, forward slash. Or you can email our staff uh, for consultations. We have uh, Kunal Kumar um, and uh, Sangeeta Menon. Their email is there as well. Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't uh, introduce myself. I'm Sonia yeah, Vukinaona, the head of the Department of uh, Computer Science and Mathematics. Uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, bearing with us. Over to you, uh, Nisha. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chane, for the overview of the programs. Uh, now we move on to the alumni for the CSM department, and we have Mr. Monesh Sami. He's the first one to talk about his experience with us at the University of Fiji. Mr. Monesh. Uh, thank you, Sharon, Madam. A very good morning to everyone. My name is Monesh Sami, and I'm currently doing my Master's in Information Technology at the University of Fiji Saveni campus. Initially, I started off with my postgraduate studies in information technology from this university. By profession, I am a university lecturer at Fiji National University Namaka campus, and I teach computing science and information system for diploma and bachelor of information technology programs. My journey with University of Fiji. My postgraduate and master's journey at University of Fiji was amazingly overwhelming. It has been three years I have been part of UniFiji family and over the duration of my stay, I have felt at home. There are many pros of this university. I do not know where to start from. To begin with, there are various types of units offered at postgraduate and master's level that are up to date with the latest trends in IT. Secondly, the staffs are so humble, helpful and down to earth. Thirdly, the lecturers are just a phone call away and are always ready to provide assistance regardless of being a Sunday or a public holiday. Moreover, the university is just a 20 minutes drive for my work and home, which gives me ample time to make quick visits to the university and engage with my lecturers. All my postgraduate units were readily available in every semester, which made my postgraduate journey much more simpler. Regardless of the COVID pandemic and lockdown since 2020, my education was not affected in any means and I managed to complete my postgraduate studies in the required time frame. As an academic staff, it is essential for us to upgrade our qualification, and UniFiji acted as a strong foundation with upgrading of my qualification. UniFiji was very generous in providing me with all the necessary tools for preparing me as an experienced lecturer and a researcher. The university facilities were outstanding and I had the most amazing experience of my life during my postgraduate and master's journey with the university. Outcomes of joining University of Fiji. Firstly, it has prepared me as a lecturer and as a researcher where I have gained in-depth knowledge 
not only in research but in vast areas such as data warehousing, project management, web application, and information security. I was also able to publish my first research paper and was managed to complete my postgraduate studies successfully. The entire Unifiji family has been very supportive from the beginning, and I'm very pleased to be part of the family. The experience and knowledge I gathered over the duration of my course properly prepared me as a researcher, which allowed me to work with some brilliant minds of the University of Fiji. The establishment of Unifiji was like a blessing to my academic career, as it has provided me with vast amount of career opportunities. On this note, I would like to thank the Department of Computer Science and Mathematics for giving me this opportunity to represent the school. Thank you, all the best, and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Manish. Uh, now we have uh, Ms. Sariana Drew, and we welcome her to share her experience. Ms. Sariana. Um, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the uh, University of Fiji um, uh, virtual uh, information uh, session. Um, I will be uh, talking about and sharing my experience and journey with the University of Fiji. I have been with the University of Fiji since my undergraduate studies uh, right after I left high school and um, it started off in 2011 and I graduated at the end of uh, 2013 with a bachelor degree in information technology. Um, I was fortunate enough to um, be able to continue my studies in undertaking my postgraduate studies, even though I moved to Suva to um, begin my career uh, in the field of IT. It has been um, uh, a good opportunity to uh, see how the University of Fiji has been flexible in accommodating a student that uh, uh, is not near the university, but was able to continue to study with the university. So in 2016, I started my postgraduate with the university in a postgrad diploma for IT and completed it in 2018. Uh, and now I'm currently uh, completing my master's in IT as well. So the reason uh, what people would ask, why have I always gone back to the University of Fiji to complete and continue my studies is basically um, the, that the university has always been um, uh, accommodating. And um, um, the first thing is that the fees are quite affordable. And the university has always offered assistance uh, to the students in ways that they uh, do not deter from their studies in terms of the financial needs uh, to continue with their studies with the university. So um, a good example is that they are offering a 10% discount in the next semester in terms of tutorial fees, which is a blessing during this COVID pandemic. Secondly, is that the university has always been flexible. As I've mentioned, I have uh, been in Suva uh, but able to do my postgraduate uh, studies with the university and the university has allowed me to either attend the courses uh, at the campus in Saweni in the weekends or even attend it online as well. Uh, the third thing why I've chosen University of Fiji is that the academic and support staff are always willing to assist uh, you achieve your goals in whatever course that the student is enrolled in. Personally, the university has become a part of who I am, and I feel right at home wherever I visit or meet with the lecturers and the professors. The university fosters an environment like no other, so no matter how long you have been away from the university or if you are joining for the first time, you are always welcomed with open arms. Lastly, the university has always been future ready. The courses offered at the university are caters to the demand in the working field, especially in the field of information technology. And um, uh, in, when a student uh, becomes a part of the university in the School of Science and Technology, uh, and when they graduate, there is always a market for them. And with the qualification that they've gained from the university, um, there is no need to worry about the work field that you need to join. In terms of my working profession, now I am uh, uh, experienced in the field of business analyst, in the field of information technology. Um, I started work uh, right after I graduated in 2014. So I joined CJ Patel, a company that has a diverse business 
portfolio with dealings with distribution, manufacturing, supply chain, sales and marketing, finance and human, human resources. After I've been with them for six years, I moved on to the um, uh, Itoke Land Trust Board in which I experienced with the land management for various stakeholders. And now I am a recent, uh, I've recently joined my uh, fourth uh, working um, place, which is BSP Life Fiji, uh, that deals with life and health um, insurance. I am fortunate enough that this year I've become a part of the academic staff of the university as well as a part-time lecturer, part-time assistant lecturer. So as much as the university has become and contributed to my life, um, I am thankful that I've become a part of a family that is always growing, that is always innovative, futuristic and enriching to not only my education, but as but to me as a person as a whole. And I hope that the viewers and um, prospective uh, students that are watching or tuning in today, uh, please be part of the university family uh, and experience what I and the other alumni uh, that have already spoken as well, uh, be part of a family that will always welcome you with open arms. Thank you and I uh, hope to see you become a part of Unifiji. Thank you, Ms. Sariana. Our next speaker is Mr. Shai Neil Chan, who is, uh, could not be with us today, but he has sent us a recording to be shared with you all. Um, Mr. Shai Neil. Uh, while we are waiting for the video to be up, um, just to mention, we have got some viewers watching us from Australia. We have got Mr. Avitesh Singh. Uh, we have got, he's watching from Australia and has gone to Lambasa College. We have um, uh, somebody watching us from New Zealand and the name is Desi at Heart. We have got uh, Zabina Hassan who is watching us from New Zealand. Thank you guys for joining us. Please do post your questions on chat. Uh, uh, Mr. Yana, you need to uh, let go of your screen share. Thank you. And let go of your mute your mic, please. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to our next uh, segment class. Uh, we have got uh, the we have got some colleagues from our support services. Uh, we will invite Ms. Rosia Aslam from the Student Academic Services to enlighten us on some of the basic things you need to know as prospective students of the university. With this, I invite Ms. Uh, Rosia to please enlighten us. Ms. Rosia. Thank you, Shirin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Rosia Aslam, the Senior Admissions Officer based at the Student Academic uh, Services in the Office of the Registrar. I will quickly go through the admission process. Uh, definitely, you would want to know what actually happens to your application forms uh, when you send to the University of Fiji. Firstly, uh, you are required to fill in the undergraduate uh, admission forms, which is, uh, which is available on our website. The checklist is on page one of the forms. These are editable forms, which you can fill online. Uh, I will go. I will quickly uh, go through the checklist. You, with your application forms, you need to put in your birth certificate, your TIN number, and your passport size photo. Uh, also, do ensure to write your correct index number, your email address, and your recent mobile contacts very clearly for the SAS team to get back to you. As for now, you can submit your forms without your year 12 and year 13 uh, examination results. Uh, your applications will be processed once we have received your uh, final examination results. We are also requesting that you submit your year 13 examination results as soon as you receive them via our email at sas at unipg.ac.fj. I'll be sending you the links and the email on, your, on this chat uh, platforms. All admission forms needs to be scanned and emailed to admissions at unipg.ac.fj. 
application forms received will provide an acknowledgement uh, email by the student academic uh, services. Uh, moving forward, I know most of you students would be writing back to us asking about the offer letters. Offer letters will only be issued when you have assessed your application after the release of the final examination results. Also with the offer letter will be uh, also with the offer letters, you'll be given a student manual, uh, whereby you will be given a brief steps of the registration process. Students ID number and a password will be also issued to, this, issued to your email to log into the online registration and select the courses for the semester. Once the approval is given by the registrar's office, an email will be sent to your student email uh, stating whether you can proceed with your online payment and registration fees. Uh, quickly, I'll go through the other sections. Uh, that is the finance uh, team, finance sections. Once your registration is approved by the uh, Office of the Registrar, you'll have to do an online payment. Uh, you have uh, two options. Either you can pay through bank account, bank transfer, which you can make a, a online bank transfer, or through M-Pesa, uh, which is uh, you can pay, make a, a payment through the business name, the University of Fiji. You can also do a manual deposit to the university account. Student who wish to... Uh, uh, pay fees by installments or through FNPF, or if you have any other inquiries, you can email to arfinance.ac.fj. And then moving further on, we have IT services. Uh, once you have completed the step, uh, second step, a computer account is created where you, uh, you will be given an email address, a username, a password uh, that is issued by the IT services, which allows you to access the uh, top head in the model, uh, which is our learning and teaching platform. You will also be given a, a hard copy of the student identi identification card here at the IT services. For any other inquiries, you can email itservices at unipg.ac.fj. And then moving further on, uh, the university library, uh, once you have been registered as the uh, university student, you will be you can use the library services where you can borrow books, which is available uh, for all programs. For any other further assistance, you can email us at library at And then we have the university nurse, I'll quickly go through, which she looks after our health of our, our students. Then the university counselor. The university counselor ensures and helps um, and manage and overcome mental and emotional uh, issues. He, um, the counselor also creates an, a stress-free and conducive environment. Uh, important things to note, all our program details are available on our website. If you need any clarification, please feel free co to contact us at SES at unipg.ac.fj. You can also utilize our online chat, uh, chat platforms on our website, which is available from 8 to 4, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday to Friday. You can also follow us through our Facebook and Instagram page. Uh, for all other course programs, please note that we it's offered through a blended mode, which is either online or face-to-face. -face. You can also contact us through our landline numbers, which is 7 uh, 6640 extension 125 or 271, on mobile 999-100, and also at Sumambola campus, 3373614. I'll be posting these important links on the chat platform. You can note that down. And we wish you all the best in your upcoming external examination. And if you have any, any questions, you can please ask us now. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rosia. Uh, friends, we have now come to the panel discussion. And um, with that, I would like to um, welcome the panel members. We have got Mr. Muhammad Farik, Mr. Neeraj, Ms. Suryana, uh, Ms. Sangeeta Manan, Ms. Trishna, Mr. Lionel Joseph, Mr. Lancy, and we have got Ms. Trishna Charan and Ms. Safia Nas. So uh, I open the floor to all of you to uh, post in your questions, and uh, the panel members will be happy to answer those questions. Uh, friends, we have got a question from Jashnita Ali uh, from Facebook. Uh, she is saying that she's interested in a postgraduate in marine science or a master of science in environmental science. Um, I open this question to the floor to answer. Anyone Thank, you. Anyone? Thank you, Nisha. So I'll take your question. I'm Dr. Prasad from the Science Department. So CC, this uh, question is about PG and master's uh, program. So if you are intending to do any master's program, any PG program, it's better to contact us directly because for the master of science, it's by research. 
So for that, we need to develop a research intent and get it approved by the postgraduate committee. So my advice is please get in touch with me. Uh, Shanil, you can perhaps put my email there. So uh, you can always contact me and then we will guide you through as to how you can progress in your master's career. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Roman. Uh, Flo, we have got another question um, from Shakshi. Uh, she says her subject combination is maths, English, biology, chemistry, and physics. Favorite subject is maths, bio, and chem. And she wants to do uh, BSc, biology, chemistry. So she wants to know the guidelines of BSc application. Uh, hi, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for the question. So for BSc Biology and Chemistry, um, all you need is a pass in a Form 7 examination. So if you have scored 200 out of 400 marks with 50% in English, you can enroll for a BSc Biology and Chemistry program. And all you need to do is fill out the application form as Ms. Rosia has highlighted. You can find the application form on the website at the University of Fiji website. So you can fill that up and send in the application to SAS. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Safi. I hope uh, that has answered your question, Sakshi. Uh, we have got another question from Mr. Avitesh. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, he's asking for any courses for data science programs for abroad students. I give it to the floor to answer. Yes, I can, I can address this question. Yes, we have a plan from 2020, we are going to offer data science and all other related courses in AI. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ali. Avitesh, I hope you have, uh, we have answered the question for you. Um, uh, friends, uh, while we are waiting for some others to um, join us with the, or put in their question, uh, I just want to uh, share the contact addresses for those whom you could contact. We have got our team, um, if you can see the screen, we have got Ms. Priyatma Singh, her email address is given up on the screen. It might also be posted in the chat platforms. We have got Mr. Kunal Kumar, his email address, and Ms. Sangeeta Manan for science, for um, ICT, and for mathematics. So if you have any specific questions, if you miss out on the questions right now, if you have not been posted, any questions or you have not, an you have not been answered, the questions have not been answered, please feel free to contact us. We are just an email away. Okay. So I hope you have noted down that uh, uh, the contact addresses. So um, we can, um, we have got other other things coming up. We have got um, the, there is some other programs that we have, uh, like competitions that is still open. Uh, I, I believe there has been links posted up in the chat for some of the competitions that the school is still running. We have got the, um, uh, the secondary school waste management competition uh, campaign that has been run by the science department and we will still have the uh, chance to be part of it. It finishes up on 19th of uh, November and we also have got two uh, competitions coming up from uh, the CSM department. Uh, we have got the mathematics poster competition. As you know, mathematics is the mother of all sciences. You will need to use it almost everywhere in everyday life. So we have got the mathematics poster competition. The categories are mentioned. There's links posted, which gives you all the um, guidelines that you need to follow. This closes on 30th November. So you still have a chance to uh, go about uh, taking part into it. Also uh, looking at the um, uh, the ICT competition, we have got a digital poster competition also that finishes off or the closing date for submission is on 4th of December. So friends, please do feel free to join the competitions that we are currently running and also keep in touch with us so that we can actually uh, enlighten you more on any questions you have. Um, um, also, there's another question. I will take one last question and then move on to the next uh, program. We have got the question from uh, Avitesh. So any prospects of data security? At the floor, I give you the question. Is there any prospects of data security uh, being offered oh, from? I, thank, thank you, MC. Yeah, I can take this question again. Yeah, this is Professor Lee. Uh, 
so yes we already offering security program so under that program uh, next year we will offer data security so network security is over now data security is the big question and challenge to us yes we are ready you are welcome thank you Thank you, friends. Uh, we now come to the most, most awaited part of our uh, session, which is the quiz competition. I call upon Mr. Lancy and Mr. Lionel, and they will be the moderators for the quiz. Friends, do pitch in an answer. Thank you. Uh, thank you, MC. I hope uh, you can all hear me. All right. So uh, we'll just do the uh, quiz very quickly because we are out of time. So I'll make sure to keep the tab on time. And just a quick uh, overview of the instructional rules for this quiz. There are two categories for this uh, quiz. We have category one, and that belongs to the computer science and mathematics uh, department, and a question uh, based uh, or from that department. Category two is a question from the science department. And the question is open uh, to the audience, so anyone can answer, and uh, we will award prizes for uh, one winner from each of the category. And allocated time is supposed to be two minutes, but because of uh, time, I'll uh, trim that time down to uh, a minute or a minute and a half, just to keep us on time. And please, when you answer the question, do state your full name uh, and your correct email address so that we can contact you after the quiz and uh, give you your prizes, okay? And you can answer either from YouTube or from the uh, Facebook comment section as well. All right, uh, after, after your answers have been submitted, we'll do a uh, draw and we'll uh, notify the winner of the prizes, okay? And that is just an overview of how we are going to do the quiz. So without uh, wasting any further uh, time, let me go to the first question. I have my timer here with me, so I'm going to time you. And the first question is from the Computer Science and Mathematics Department. And the question is, is it necessary to take computer studies in secondary school to study for a Bachelor of Information Technology at UniFiji? Okay. So you have time now, okay? I'm counting down the time. So please do submit your answers either on YouTube or uh, Facebook comment section and, and we'll note your names down. Right, so time is ticking down. If you really want to win the, the prize, do submit your answer in the comment section and we'll note that down. Okay, we have about 50 seconds remaining. Remember we have uh, very interesting uh, courses in computer science that are currently being offered in the School of uh, computer science and mathematics at UniFiji, and new interesting programs will be uh, implemented next year. Okay? So you are always welcome to join uh, the School of Science and uh, Technology. All right, so time's up. We'll now move on to the next and final question from the Department of Science. Okay, and this is a general question uh, which I know most of uh, you uh, will have come across. And the question is, the Earth has three layers of varying temperatures. Okay? What are each three layers? Right, if you have taken uh, geography in high school, okay? or you're currently doing geography now, this is a question for you. And at the, uh, as the Department of Science, we also teach uh, uh, courses around uh, geography. Okay, if you are doing, uh, if you're interested in doing geography and something in geographical information system, okay, uh, with the program of uh, environmental science, okay, you will be exposed to these uh, contents as well. So, 
please do submit your answers. You have 30 seconds. Okay. I hope um, you have submitted your answers. And please take note, provide your correct email address so we can reach out to you uh, if you are a winner. Okay, and time's up. So that's it for our quiz competition for this uh, program. Please do join us again uh, on the 13th of November for more questions and chances to win other prizes as well. Thank you, everyone, and over to you, uh, MC. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you for the wonderful activity. We have reached the end of the session. Uh, please note that all our s 2 competitions that we have mentioned before has lucrative prizes to be won and the winners also go into the pool draw. The quiz competition goes in the answers, uh, the correct answers goes in the pool draw and we'll be contacting you later. Uh, so friends, um, uh, there has been links shared on our chat platform. Please go through that. I'd just like to, before I close off, I'd just like to share our SOST uh, webpage. So we have got our dedicated uh, website for the School of Science and Technology, and you can uh, go through that. The link for this has been shared in the chat platform. You, it gives us, uh, it, it will give you an overview of everything you need to know, and also the contact details of all the staff that you need to contact. We are there for you. Remember, we are going to answer all your questions, so please do email us and do let us know uh, if you have any queries, any questions. So everything that we do here at SOSC, we keep our students at heart and we are ready and happy to assist and guide every one of you to achieve your academic aspirations. So I thank you all from the School of Science and Technology and from the University of Fiji for joining us today. And we really look forward to seeing you for another session on the 13th of November. For SOSC, it is at 12 noon. Please take care, stay safe and keep in touch with us. Thank you so much.